So just thought I'd shoot a short video on the winter squash that we're growing. So at the beginning of last summer, uh, we actually got a packet of mixed land-raised squash seeds from somebody on permies.com. And um, this year, I saved seeds from the mixture of squashes that we grew last year. And I also used a lot of uh, wood chip compost from the chicken coop where some of the spoiled squashes and, and um, the meat of the squash that we didn't use and the seeds I didn't save went. And those were mostly used in this raised bed right here. And what you can see is when the squash sprouted, if it wasn't directly in the way of things, I just went ahead and let them grow. And you can see that they are totally taking over the yard here. But the really fun thing is that there's a variety of shapes. So this one here is ripening up to be the sort of round one. I got uh, three baby geese following me around. Oh, there they go. On this end, so far they haven't really started plumping up, so I can't see what this one is going to be. It started sprouting a little later, um, and so it hasn't really gotten going yet. And then we've got this one over here, which is a uh, this, this one actually probably came from one of the Tahitian melon squashes, the butternut type squash. And then one of my favorites, especially because I don't actually recall us growing any of this shape, but it must have been somewhere in the genetics of that land race. There is over here somewhere. Let's see. Where did it wander off to? Yeah, you can see. So this is... This is a small version, and when I first saw it, I actually wondered if it might be a su summer squash, but then I realized it's growing this really cute cap. Here's a bigger one right here that you can see, which is a lot of fun. So we're, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing. These were ones that I actually planted from the, the seeds that I saved. The other ones were the, the ones that were just volunteer. And I've got some further out um, in the orchard area as well, but they're a lot smaller. I planted them later and they don't have quite such fertile soil to grow in. Um, and then this is the, the final one. This one really does look like a summer squash to me. I'll be interested to see what it turns into.